Joining me from Washington, D.C., the Majority Leader of the United States Congress, Kevin McCarthy, from the great state of California. Uh, Leader McCarthy, welcome back. Good to have you. Oh, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Can you give us a, a status update on, on this story with particular reference to the Syrian refugee issue? Yes. Um, you know, the Speaker and I were talking right after when um, the horrific uh, attacks from the radicals inside France and Paris this weekend. And we put together this, this Saturday a new task force, and this is about for homeland security. And what we did was we took the, the six different committees that all have jurisdiction. I mean, think about it, from intel to armed services to homeland to judiciary um, to also appropriations. Sure. And we looked at the different bills that we have passed, the different challenges of where we're coming. I mean, Homeland has just recently put out the final report on the task force of combating terrorist and foreign fighter travel, and there's 32 different recommendations in there. Now, the speaker today, in talking with the conference, we're in session this week, and then we have Thanksgiving next week. He does not want to wait until the Omni to deal with this issue. Um, so the task force is going to be meeting in my office just a little later than another uh, today. And we are crafting legislation where we can even start the process of voting on it when it comes to refugees here. I think first and foremost, refugee program, yes, with America of where we've always looked in history. But the number one issue we have is to make sure America is safe. And knowing the history of what we have, we've got to look at this program. Now, I do not think anything should move forward without having FBI and Homeland saying a vetting process and certifying anyone who's coming in here is not a sympathizer of ISA or a terrorist or could even go in that direction. Um, so you're just going to have to slow this process down, um, and that is the correct thing to start with. I mean, I have... Ryan Zinke, a member of Congress, a freshman, that used to be a part of SEAL Team 6. You know who's one of the authors of this bill? It's Ryan yeah, Zinke. Yeah, he was on with me last week. He said he's very interested in this stuff. So the, so uh, how long will the bill be, and when do you expect to, to get well, it onto the floor? this won't be the only thing that we do, but we will have this bill. I think this bill will be a simple one- to two-page bill, um, and I think it would, it would be voted on on Thursday. We're working on it today and bring it to the floor before we depart for oh, wow. um, the Thanksgiving break. So if that happens and it gets sent to the Senate, that obviates the need to attach a rider to the appropriate or to the, the continuing resolution or whatever we're calling it. Uh, what will happen, if it passes and we have an overwhelming vote, that can move the Senate and go to the president. If it doesn't move in that amount of time, you have an omni coming up in the first part of December, and you've already have an overwhelming vote there to deal with ISIS, and you would put it directly into the omni then if need be. Now, will the bill that you're going to move this week, will it have anything to do with the get or is it going to be limited solely to refugees? Well, this is the unique part. Um, we have the uh, NDAA, the Defense Authorization Bill. That is going to the president. In there, that deals with Gitmo. It also deals with, and this is what's unique, and this shouldn't only be talking about Syrian refugees with what's happening in France. This is the overall foreign policy of America. Just think in the last three weeks, downing an airliner, what's happened with Yemen, what's happened with Iran. You, you've talked about this so many times. It's where America has stepped back and these terrorists have stepped in. Inside the NDAA, Max Thornberry and the others put in there, that the president has to lay out a strategy to defeat ISIS, not to contain it. So, so uh, Majority Leader McCarthy is my guest. As we go forward into the, into the Thanksgiving break, you're a part of the civilian leadership of the United States. Have you been briefed on threats to Washington, D.C., Kevin McCarthy? Are, are there any active that you know of? We will be briefed today uh, overall. I know what you've, you know, every day is something changing. If you go through, and I recommend to all your listeners, get the latest report um, that just came out from Homeland Security about a month ago. It's the, it's the task force on combating terrorists. You don't have to wait to France to realize what's going on. And it's not just whether somebody's coming from a refugee. You've got more than a 1,000 individuals that are living in Europe that have gone down and fought that have a European passport that have the right to be able to come over. You also have the Internet and Twitter every single day. Look at what 
ISIS is doing, trying to recruit here in America. We have knowingly more than a, a hundred Americans that have tried to go over and fight in Syria. So this, this, is a, this is something that's going on and getting bigger every day. They are not contained. They need to be defeated. So 27 states have said no, at least 27 states have said no to um, homing Syrian refugees. Will the bill that you draft override their refusal? Well, the bill that we, that we draft would answer their question as well. They don't want somebody coming here because they have not been vetted. You cannot guarantee, and we're saying that has to be done and has to be certified. And that in itself would take and protect us. And at the same time, from the NDAA and the other bills that we're moving to, we need an overall strategy. This is a war on the West. It's our way of life, and these people are not going to sit back and say, oh, then we'll stop there. We watch. They'll use airlines. They'll use refugees. They'll use the Internet. They'll use anything possible, from a lone wolf to a big attack in any way we go. They are more sophisticated. They have financial resources, so we have to look also a way that we do sanctions and stop money. So, so, Leader McCarthy, to, to close out, I appreciate your time today. You, you guys will move this bill, but here's the biggest question. I know I'll get this from, from listeners. This administration, Chris Christie said this yesterday, you know, you've got nothing against orphans, but this administration can't vet the IRS, can't vet the VA, much less ISIS terrorists, and, you know, so he doesn't want to let anyone in because he doesn't trust this administration. Ryan Zinke, I trust, SEAL Team 6, obviously, but nevertheless, no matter how good your law is, there aren't, if you read Ted Koppel's new book, Jay Johnson is not going to inspire confidence in you. None of these people inspire confidence in anyone. Look, in, in, in the short you, it is not right to bring those refugees here. The best place that you can do is find safe zones. This is what we've talked about. Safe zones keep them closer to their country because these are individuals, when this is over, you want them to go back and run their country instead of others. From a point of keeping families together, from a point of resources, America is the country that provides the most in foreign aid. But the greatest humanitarian ground that you can go to is keeping them close to their own country. So find the safe zone there. It gives greater protection to America. It gives greater protection for them. When this is over, they can go back, run the country. Um, and it keeps their families together. That is the best answer. And you'll find these are going to be a series of bills that we offer and move forward. But the overall problem is not right here. The overall problem is what is our foreign policy. Remember, ISIS was created because we left um, Iraq. Remember, this is not a JV team, and we do not have them contained. We need a complete strategy that defeats them. Kevin McCarthy, uh, leader of the GOP of the House Majority, I appreciate your taking the time. Good luck in getting this thing moved to the Senate this weekend. That sounds like a great step forward. I appreciate your taking the time. Thank you so much for having me.